You know all that cool bodyweight stuff you see people on Instagram do? Wouldn't it be cool to be able to do them too? Well, that's exactly what I was thinking. I wanted to find a program that would help me develop some bodyweight fitness skills. Because let's face it, it looks friggin' awesome. So I went online and did my research and eventually found a company called Gold Metal Bodies or GMB Fitness. They offered quite a few different courses and they're all pretty cool. But the ones that I was most interested in was the Parallettes course. You see, one day I hope to be able to do a planche. And of all the courses, it seemed like the Parallettes course would be the one most likely to take me there. There are two levels, Parallettes 1 and Parallettes 2. I decided it'd be best to just start with the basics and go with Parallettes 1. It was actually reasonably priced at 95 bucks for the three month course. You know, it can actually be pretty tough to find a program that's right for you. There's a lot of good ones out there. But for me, the main thing that made me choose GMB is the fact that the main guy, Ryan Hurst, seems and looks like a genuinely nice guy. Does that make me an easy sell? Maybe. But in my opinion, having a clean, relatable, and friendly look goes a long way. So what are parallettes exactly? Well, they're basically just portable parallel bars. You can use them for basic things like push-ups or advanced things like planches. One of the advantages of using parallettes instead of just the floor is that it's a lot easier on your wrist. And the fact that it's raised off the ground can make a lot of moves easier than they would be if you did them on the ground. So is Gold Metal Bodies Parallettes 1 the right program for you? Let me break down the most obvious pros and cons. Pros. P1 is great value for the money. The program consists of two levels, A and B. Basically A is easier and more beginner friendly, and B is a bit more advanced. I did the B program, so everything you see in this video is based off the B program. But the fact that there are two levels is a pretty strong positive. I mean, it's basically like getting two programs for the price of one. Oh, and there's also a leg day mini program that they give you for free as a supplement to the main program. P1 is highly customizable for you. For each exercise, GMB provides a range for sets and reps. If you're more gung-ho, you can do more. Or if you're maybe just having an off day, you can do a bit less. They also have alternative exercises just in case you can't do the main ones that they prescribe. No program is ever gonna fit everybody, but this wiggle room is gonna give everyone the ability to tailor the program to where they are without feeling like they're incapable of doing the program. Because feeling incapable or not good enough is a shitty ass feeling and I imagine a big reason why people quit their workout programs. There is no guesswork required. They tell you exactly what you have to do. There's a warm up, cool down, and even a way on how to incorporate pull ups and weights into the programs. Cons. Parallettes 1 is not a balanced program. The exercises in this program are almost entirely pushing movements. So if uh, you're already someone who's a little front heavy, this program isn't gonna make that any better, unless you take steps to balance that out. P1 is not for true beginners. I I'm gonna be honest, if you can't do a single push-up, this program is probably not for you, even the easy version. Fortunately, GMB has other programs that are more noob friendly, so I would probably check out one of those instead. Limited advanced movements. Sorry guys, no planche work in Parallettes 1. So if you're already comfortable with the fairly advanced stuff, you might be better off just jumping straight into Parallettes 2. All right, with all that said, let me tell you about my experience with Parallettes 1. Before starting the program, I did a max L sit hold as a baseline for my strength level. I got 16 seconds. I wanted to use this as a metric for progress and I'd revisit this at the end. Both the A and B versions of the program are broken down into four phases, with the first two phases lasting a month and the last two phases being just two weeks. I did the B program. The first phase is the strength phase, where you build strength. The exercises are simpler and more straightforward. I'm not a beginner to working out, so I felt that it was a little bit on the easier side. But like I mentioned earlier, the program has a range of sets and reps, so I'd usually go for the higher rep and set range to make it a bit more challenging. The second phase is skill focused, so the moves get a bit more technically challenging. This is also where things get more interesting. Okay, I admit that I would sometimes let my ego get in the way and not always have the cleanest reps. Well. It happens to the best of us. The L-Sit drive in particular was really hard and I don't think I had a single pretty rep in there. The 
third and fourth phases introduced flows, which are basically just chaining moves together. Overall, the third phase was a significant jump up in difficulty from the second phase. It was in this phase that I started to find myself unable to do certain moves at the prescribed level. Thankfully, the program had scaled down alternatives. The flows in the fourth phase are a lot more difficult and longer than the ones in the third phase. I was unfortunately not able to do the entire flow due to getting fatigued and had to do each part separately. The fatigue also made it hard to do certain moves full on during the flow. For example, I could not hold a full shoulder stand during the flow and could only have one leg up at a time. Well, I guess I'm not quite there just yet. But what I was able to do at the end of the fourth phase still looked pretty cool, so I don't feel bad about it. Well, now that I finished the program, let's take a look at my results. For one, I can now do a cool ass flow. Also, remember the 16 second L sit I did at the beginning? Well, now I could hold the L sit for 30 seconds. And while I might not have been able to do a full shoulder stand during the flow, I could easily do one by itself. I'd say that's a pretty big win. I was also pretty happy with how my physique turned out at the end. I wasn't tracking this, so this is purely anecdotal, but dang, very worthy. Overall, I'm happy with the program, but I do have some final thoughts for you to consider when you're making your decision. GMB's Parallettes 1 is all about quality of movement. It's better to do fewer, slower quality reps than a bunch of shitty ones. So it's important that you have a good temperament about it and trust the process. And since it's a skill-focused program, you're not going to feel as tired or sore as you would in like a program such as P90X. Personally, I'm all for it. I hate being tired, and if I can get results without being exhausted all the time, hell yeah. But if you're someone who enjoys being out of breath at the end of your workouts, this might not be for you. And now, for my verdict. I would give GMB's Parallettes 1 program a 9 out of 10. Why? Mostly because it does exactly what it says it's going to do, which is teaching you basic parallettes moves. Just make sure you know what you're looking for and what the program offers. Then, make your decision. And before you ask, no, GMB did not bribe me to make this video. I am doing this out of my own free will without the influence of alcohol, drugs, or magic potions. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you hit the bell button, you'll get notified when I post a video. I'm going to be doing a lot of fitness experiments, so I'll be making videos as I finish them. You can also follow me on Instagram if you want to see more of my day-to-day -day progress. Alright, well that was a mouthful. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.